Okay, I was having some thoughts <laughs> and um, I just wanted to share them using these. These are cheap batteries from Amazon, which probably ought to be a crime in and of itself. But when you think about yourself and your day, I notice how people, some people are already feeling a bit like, you know, flagging and we've got the winter coming and you kind of, the more it gets grey and dark, the more you think, God almighty, we've got six months of darkness plus energy bills, plus the nonsense we're surrounded by, plus, plus the twats we're surrounded by. So this is kind of about self-preservation really in some senses, but let's just say that at the start of your day, you have these. So what are these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, at the start of your day, you'll have eight batteries of energy inside of you. And then before you even get out of bed, you're looking at, um, I don't know, the internet, social media, uh, maybe a Facebook page, maybe someone's posted something and they're like, oh, here we are in Mauritius having a lovely time. And you're not, and you're like, Poof. or someone dropping their kid off at uni and like, oh, I'm done, done so well, aren't I great? And it, it, you know, even before you've got out of bed, all of a sudden you've given away one of your power charges of the day, just like that. And then let's say you're doing the normal things that you do need energy for and you choose to give your time and your energy to, like getting your family out the door, finding the sports kit, uh, writing the note for someone else, making sure someone else has got a packed lunch, uh, finding something that someone lost that you didn't lose, but somehow you're supposed to know where it is. Stuff we give our energy to because we want everyone else to be okay. Okay, great. Then let's say someone's just an asshole. So someone on the chat just says something snidey or one of those people who can make themselves feel better by making you feel worse. Like there's a bunch of those we surround ourselves by and we often call them friends. And instead of deciding I'm not going to give that person my energy because they're being a snidey asshole, instead of looking after it and preserving that energy for more useful things, you decide to give it away. You get involved in some snidiness and boom, more of your energy is gone. And then other stuff like that, where we make really bad decisions about you. This is your energy. This is your power. This is your well-being for things that you could choose to allocate. And instead, you just oh, watch that crap on reels and feel a bit more shit about myself. Oh, there goes some more of my energy. And so it goes on and so it goes on. And all of a sudden, when it comes to possibly having the energy to do something for yourself, to sustain yourself or build yourself stronger or go for a walk or a run or eat something properly that would be good for you, you find that you're so depleted on energy that you just don't have any left to reinvest in yourself. And then you've still got to go to this event and look after your boss and do those things right. And then you've still got to try and get the house in order in order to run another day. And suddenly you're completely running on empty. So I suppose the message is not to, you know, conserve energy at all costs and become smaller. The opposite of that. But just don't give away your energy carelessly to assholes because it's your energy and they don't deserve any of it. Let them fester over there, but don't give them your strength. The other thing is to recognise who you are giving your energy to. Do they deserve it or could you use it more usefully yourself? In which case, that's not selfish. That's just about investing energy really, really wisely. And then finally, to always know that even in a day where you just start off with eight batteries worth and you've given them all away, sometimes if you have to, you can turbocharge yourself because when the shit really hits the fan, we go up a notch and we find power from somewhere. So one way or another, we will get through this. But really just a thought about how you give away energy to people that probably maybe you shouldn't and how you should always try and keep a bit of your own energy to reinvest in yourself in order to power up the limb for another day. Self-preservation and note to self, no more batteries from Amazon.